baseball's playoffs getting underway today. The big question for managers is, do you stick with what you know or do you go with your gut? It's a tricky proposition. Matthew Futterman's here to help make some sense of it for us. Hi there. How are you? I'm good. So today's a big day. Texas versus Baltimore, St. Louis versus Atlanta, and the National League for this wild card spot. Yeah. One, one game or go home. And so begins the angst of these managers of figuring out, do you do what you've been doing or do you do something different? Why is it so tricky for them when it comes down to playoff time? Well, the main, part, main job of a manager is to get his players ready to play. In baseball, there's obviously a little strategy involved. Uh, but it, it's, it's totally different in the playoffs than it is in the regular season. In the regular season, it's 162 games. You're, you're thinking about... Tomorrow, you're thinking about next week, you don't want to tire this guy out, you don't want to get this guy hurt. You always feel like you have time to make up for it. Uh, in the playoffs, the longest series you have is four out of seven. You right. don't want to give anything away. And in the case of these games today, it's you got this game. Right, exactly. <laughs> you got one shot. Right. What are some of the big mistakes that have been, or they look like mistakes in retrospect because we can, you and I have the luxury of playing, you know, Friday afternoon quarterbacks or whatever we're playing right, right now. Uh, what are some of the mistakes that have not panned out when these managers have gone with their gut? Well, I think the most recent one was, was in game six last year with Texas against St. Louis and Ron Washington brought in down. Aaron Oliver to get the last three outs of the World Series and this was a guy who had barely saved games throughout an 18-year career. Uh, he's kind of a journeyman pitcher and I, I remember as he was coming in there we were sitting up in the press box and everyone sort of looked at each other and said well this isn't gonna work right. and it didn't work. Uh, I, I think the idea is that it, it's this is not the time to freelance. This is the time to show that you trust the people that have gotten you there and that you still have confidence in, in them. I mean, there, there's more pressure on these players than there is at any point in their lives, perhaps. And you know, if there's, if there's one iota of a hint that someone doesn't believe that they can do what they've been doing for months, that's going to weigh on them. Any managers out there that sort of break with that mold that we can expect, they're probably just going to go with their gut no matter what happens? Well, Dusty Baker, the Dusty. Cincinnati Reds, is sort of the, the one of the few holdouts to what is now considered a kind of old school of managing, which is he doesn't pay any attention to statistics particularly, I and mean, probably a little. But uh, you know, his former one of his former players, Johnny Gomes, was saying was telling me he said he's just none of that matters. <laughs> he goes on heart, he goes on guts, he goes on feel, he goes on instincts, and you know that's what you have to expect from him. A lot more Wilson will know after today. All right, Matthew Futterman, more in today's paper. Thanks for being with us on lunch Thanks break. A lot, Appreciate Matt. it.